Hey, this is Russell Moore. This is Reading in Exile, where while we're all locked down on quarantine, go through my library and talk about uh, books uh, that maybe you should uh, check out. And I, I thought about as I was preparing to do this one, that because of the way we do the title, uh, Wendell Berry's Life is a Miracle, it's going to look like I'm saying that Wendell Berry's life is a miracle, which of course it is. But just reminds me of that old uh, Larry the Cable Guy joke about Hank Williams Junior High School and trying to figure out if it was Hank Williams Junior High School or Hank Williams Junior High School. Uh, so you can take this really either way. Wendell Berry's life personally is in fact a miracle uh, and a blessing to many of us, but the book title is Life is a Miracle. And this is one of these books that I give out to, I don't know how many different people, uh, and that I have reread multiple times. We've talked about Barry before, and uh, uh, particularly Barry's fiction. I think before we talked about Jaber Crow. Uh, we'll talk about Hannah Coulter a little bit later. Maybe we'll talk about the poetry uh, a little bit later, especially maybe a couple of my favorite Barry poems. But in terms of Barry's nonfiction, this is probably my favorite. Um, and that's saying something because he has a lot of great essays. But this is an argument. He says it's an essay against modern superstition. And what he's taking on is the idea that all of human life or uh, all of biological life can be understood in terms of material uh, processes and, and neurons firing and so forth. And so what he's... Uh, taking on here is that idea of uh, uh, technological mastery of humanity. And he talks about it in multiple ways in, in terms of some of the kind of sociobiology uh, that, that we will see out there. Uh, also, though, in terms of human cloning and, and those sorts of, uh, or, or animal cloning. And also, the probably maybe even more especially the idea of metaphor. He talks about this metaphor of machine. And I think about it all the time because he says that that's come into our lingo a lot where you will say something like, uh, that guy's a machine. He can uh, just, uh, uh, he, he can work so much or play basketball so well or do math so well or whatever it is. He's a machine or I really want to find out what makes her tick. Um, th those sorts of, of metaphors, he talks about the fact that that's not really just metaphor, that there's a tendency in modern culture to see human beings as machines rather than to see human beings as creatures. And if you see a human being as a creature, then what you're going to see is there is a mystery there that cannot be defined simply in terms of uh, genes reproducing themselves, simply in terms of um, behavioral uh, sorts of uh, experiments, that your life is a miracle, which means that there is much about your own life that cannot be explained much about everyone else's life that cannot be explained by science or technique or technology and that ought to uh, lend itself to a sense of awe and wonder, uh, a sense of limits. I'm a creature. And uh, he, he talks about the fact that often sort of the, the kind of um, materialist scientific uh, understanding that we have in the modern age will sometimes say, well, religion cannot be empirically proven and therefore it is false. And Barry is saying that's the entire point, is that religion is saying there is something greater than that which can be mastered and empirically proven. And he makes that uh, case in here. And then he says, uh, he says this, uh, one of his uh, recommendations, we should banish from our speech and writing any use of the word machine as an explanation or definition of anything that is not a machine. Our understanding of creatures and our use of them are not improved by calling them machines. And then when he talks about having a sense of mystery and a sense of the miraculous nature of what we can't know, he says, it is only when we confess our ignorance 
that we can see our need for the law and the prophets. It is only because we err and are ignorant that we make promises which we keep, not because we are smart, but because we are faithful. So at the sort of underlying this is what we talked about on the episode on Kierkegaard, that distinction between the genius and the apostle. The genius has mastery. The apostle simply bears witness, points away from himself or herself uh, to authority. Uh, That's really at the heart of this. And so the thing I love about this, there are a lot of books, including a lot of Christian apologetics books, that um, in taking on kind of naturalistic materialism, it's just, uh, here, I've trapped you in your argument and I'm showing why you're wrong. Uh, There's a place for that. That's not what this book is. This book is, is pointing to the deficiencies of materialism, but beyond that, it's a celebration of the fact that life is a miracle. And so I really commend it to you and it can help you. Uh, to live through uh, this, uh, this technocratic time.